You've likely heard the name John D. Rockefeller, but how has this man who lived hundreds of years ago changed your chances of success? In this video, let's find out what the education system has done to basically rig the system and make your chances of success in escaping the system so slim. So to do this, we're gonna have to rewind back to 1913 when John D. Rockefeller funded the education board. So a little background knowledge on John D. Rockefeller, if you haven't heard of him, he was the biggest oil tycoon. And I can remember vividly when I was in high school, I was taught about John D. Rockefeller for just simply being a great entrepreneur, basically doing no harm, no foul play, and just being crazy good at monopolizing the oil industry to the point where basically he owns every single oil company and every single company that you see, the BP, Shell, he owns all of them in a way. He has his fingers and everything. So what better way to beat your competition than to control all your competition? So he ended up owning all the competition, owning all the oil, and now he wanted to take it a step farther and really cement his chances, his probability of owning the oil industry for long as it may go on. So then he started infiltrating the minds of the youth, the next generation of workers. There's a classic, iconic quote from John D. Rockefeller saying, I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. So by taking it back to understanding where the curriculum of our education system comes from, we now have a better understanding about how to move forward. So from the day you were put into the indoctrination system, I like to call it, rather than the education system, because what do they really teach you? Nothing of that much substance or value. So after your years in the indoctrination system, they tell you, oh, look, if you really want to succeed, you have to go get more indoctrinated. But this time you have to spend heaps of your money and give it to us. And likely this is money that you don't even have. And now you're in debt. So in this video, I'm going to be covering everything that schools should have taught us about money and how to really seriously escape the system because I've talked to countless millionaires. I myself am one of them. In this video, you're going to hear the information that someone should have taught you, but it's incredibly hard to find. This is information that if you Google, you're not going to find it until you're on the 10th page. This is information that has been censored because like I said, the system does not want you to be successful. They want you to be a slave. Let's get into it. So let's say you are aware that the education system has corrupted your mind, but this does not change the fact that your parents aren't aware. This doesn't change the fact that your grandparents weren't aware that they were in a financial matrix. So that being said, your grandparents, your parents were all indoctrinated. Their belief systems have been skewed and manipulated throughout their entire lives. The older generations were way easier to manipulate because there isn't videos like this being reached by the masses nowadays where people are starting to really understand like, holy f there's a lot of corruption going on. They didn't have that back in the day, but now we have these. So just because you've started to realize that, holy sh I'm not gonna trust the education system, you have to take it a step farther. Can't necessarily believe your parents' beliefs. You can't necessarily believe your grandparents' beliefs because everything is hearsay. Everything that you've been taught was taught to someone else and who taught them that. So you have to take it down this rabbit hole of misinformation start truly and genuinely looking past everything that everyone tells you even what i'm telling you this is called the social matrix but the social matrix even goes into the financial matrix because everything is hearsay so what does that teach us about money if everything is hearsay when everything we've learned about money is also hearsay so it's a whole lot of to be completely honest with you, it's insane. So don't listen to your family unless your family is very wealthy. Anyone in your family, don't listen to your friends unless they are very wealthy. Don't listen to people that aren't living a life that you want to live for financial advice. That does not make any sense at all, dude. I, I honestly get all of my financial advice from gurus online. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't, don't be the guy that gets all of his financial advice from gurus online, but be very nitpicky about whose advice you're taking. I'm lucky to have very, very influential, successful people in my life that I can pick their brain about, but a lot of my financial knowledge comes from books and just simply seeing through the lines, not looking in black and white, but seeing in full color, thinking in full color. So that takes me to the next part. We have been taught from the day we were born to praise money, to worship money, that money is the most important thing. To be successful, all you need to have is money. What if I were to tell you that your money is literally worthless? In 1973, I believe it was, the Federal Reserve decided to no longer back the US dollar by gold, essentially making all of US dollars value perceived value. It's not backed by anything. So this, this value that we all put within our money is only there because we all believe it's there. This money is absolutely worthless. It is literally paper. So now I want you to prepare yourself for what's about to come. I say this to inform you that if you have money sitting in the US dollar, don't do that. Do not do that. You need to diversify 
all your money. Have some Ethereum, have some Bitcoin, have some Swiss dollars, have some Russian dollars. Basically diversify as much of your money as possible. Get watches. Watches hold their value more than anything. And at the bottom of everything, it's control. So now they're controlling you with controlled inflation. They're inflating the out of the US dollar and what's going on in the political spectrum with China and Russia and Saudi Arabia is only going to inflate the dollar even more. Now they're controlling this inflation, making everything more expensive for you while not raising your wages and not giving you more opportunities to make money. So you need to be the type of person that really starts to hustle, really starts to think differently outside the box, starts making moves, bro, because it's only a matter of time until everything is heinous. Being prepared will never bite you in the ass. That's why I've stacked up on red meat. I've stocked up on gasoline. I've stocked up on diversifying my portfolio, essentially. I've, I've stocked up on everything that could go wrong because think about it. They control you with food. They control you with gas. They control you with money. And this is why they're pushing people to electric cars so they can control them even more because they can turn off your electric car whenever they want. So essentially, you have to look at, okay, well, what happens if there's a food shortage? You're relying on the government for absolutely everything. You have to be in a state where you aren't relying. You can grow your own food. You have gas stocked up so you can get places if you need to it's just being precautious being precautious being aware realizing that the government has none of your best interests in mind only to control you but to get back to the point of what school hasn't taught you about money because i kind of just went on a crazy ramble school will never teach you to not be frugal with your money school is always going to teach you to budget your money be frugal don't buy that starbucks don't take risks even though the only risk is not taking any school sets you up to live a controlled life by the system. School sets you up to live a nine to five job where you have no other outside opportunities to make more cash flow. So you're dependent on your paycheck, so that you're dependent on your paycheck to get your food. The second you were born, you were taught that you have to work hard to make your money. You have to exchange your time for money. So this is immediately indoctrinating your mind, immediately getting you to think inside the box, think in black and white, not full color. So stop being a slave to your money. Use your money for what it's for. Detach from your money. Make more money with the money that you already have. Take risks. Don't be a little not make bold moves. No one who has ever succeeded got there by playing it safe. And you need to constantly be reminding yourself, scared money does not make any money. The more attached to your money you are, the less abundant your future will be. Obviously, don't be stupid with your money. Be f smart. Don't be a f dipshit dude it's it's really not that hard sit down and make a financial plan for yourself you know how many people do that probably five percent of people sit down and make a plan like okay i'm going to save this amount of money i'm going to spend this amount of money i'm going to invest in this amount i honestly do not save money that is not a thing i do i am always using my money i'm putting my money to work i'm exercising my money i hardly have money just sitting around doing nothing. It is always working. Obviously, I have a big cushion of money because I've put so much of my money to work that now I'm seeing the fruits of my efforts. But for a long time, I wasn't sitting on a big pile of cash. Don't be a bot. Don't be frugal. Don't be unprepared, essentially. School is never going to teach you any of this stuff. It's going to teach you that everything is fine in the economy. Everything is safe. Just get a good job and be secure. Don't want to do that. Look out for yourself because no one else is going to look out for you. The education system, your parents, your grandparents aren't able to look out for you. They don't understand the world that we live in right now. That's why you need to. And if you're someone who feels lost, feels like they have no sense of direction or how they're going to make it happen, I'm launching a software it's very similar to Notion in about a month that helps you create plans and helps you map out and pull these thoughts out of you. If you're someone who wants to get early access to this software, that's going to be $20 a month. I have a free course below. You'll be subscribed to my email list by signing up for this free course and you guys will get first access to this software. I don't have an exact date on when it's going to launch, but I'm doing my absolute best to make it absolutely pristine so that you guys get insane clarity over your future. So I love you guys. Please be prepared. Course link for absolutely free is down below. I love you guys. Stay safe.